This is how I built my solar hot air panel. Now I'm not saying this is the best way or the easiest way. It is simply the way I did it. I started by building a simple plywood box using 5 8 and 3 8 inch plywood. I then lined the box using 1 inch foam which was foil backed and rated for 260 degrees. I then cut the tops and bottoms out of 200 aluminum cans. I then rinsed them very well and then soaked them in water for 24 hours. I then rinsed these cans and began assembling the columns. I made 14 columns of 14 cans each. I then attached the columns to a header on each end. This was all done using RTV high temp gasket maker. I then painted the cans and the inside of the panel flat black. At this point the cans and the box met. I then drilled a four inch hole between the header and the end of the box on each end. I then siliconed all joints in what was to become the air box. I then laid a piece of aluminum over the top of the air box and siliconed it down. The next step was to install my 1 8 inch Lexan. I used the same gasket maker and laid a heavy bead around the outside edge and simply laid Lexan into it and then taped it down firmly. This photo simply shows what the box looks like with the Lexan installed. This was the setup for my first test. I simply wanted to see if the thing was going to make any heat. I took it outside, leaned it up against some lawn chairs, hooked a 120 cubic foot per minute fan to it, and turned it on. The air temperature was 0 degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the sky was 90 percent clear. We had good heat coming out the other end. You could feel this heat if you were standing six or seven feet away from the panel and the air was blowing in your direction. The four inch pipe I had installed coming out of the panel on the hot air end, although you could hold your hand on it, it was uncomfortable. There was that much heat. Shortly after my first test, we lost the sun. It clouded over heavy. I decided to move the panel to a temporary test location which would be using inside air as opposed to outside air. The next day was cloudy as well. Not a good day for testing. Heavy overcast. But we did get some periods where the sun did come through for five minutes at a time. The panel did come up to temperature and it did turn on the fan. I was able to get a reading in the house in the exhaust pipe of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So I guess that about sums it up. Things are looking very positive and the testing continues. Thank you for watching.